Hello Libra, welcome to Andrea's Closet. Today I'll be doing a reading in love for Libra in March. Um, this reading will consist of what should you expect to take place in March and what are some things that need to change, you need to work on, what's happening, and important messages that you need to hear. Don't shoot the messenger, just take it. If it doesn't resonate, then I'm sorry. Hopefully your next video does. Feel free to check out your, your rising sign, your moon sign, whatever else. Your cross watcher. You already know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. God ancestors divine whisper. What is an important message and love that we sign of Libra? What is an important message for Libra in March regarding love? What is an important message for Libra in March regarding love? Okay, page of swords. Messages. Good or bad. Basically a message that you need to hear. What is an important message for Libra in March regarding love? What? Okay, the star card. More messages. What is an important message for Libra? King of Cups. Nurturing. Understanding. The Hierophant. Tradition. Sneakiness. Deception. Knight of Swords. Messages coming in fast, full of passion. Celebration. Looking out into the horizon. Okay. So with... Um, you have the Page of Swords, the Star card, the King of Cups, the Hierophant, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So it looks like you're receiving a very important message. It is something that you really, really need to hear um, regarding love. It is something that is very important to you. It is something that is detrimental. It is. It needs to be said, right? So there's someone who here. It could be a female or male. That is the King of Cups. He's very nurturing. He's very understanding. And someone is in their tradition. And I continue to say someone because I don't like to just throw roles out there. You guys, everybody who's watching, know kind of who these um who plays these roles in your lives. Um, because this is a general reading, I can't be very specific because there's a lot of different energies. Um, but yeah, so there is definitely an important message with the Page of Swords and the Star card, right? I'm feeling like there's going to be a couple messages. Actually, not one or two. It's going to be quite a few. Some things that you really need to hear. You might not like it, but it's something that you need to hear. And it's time for you to kind of like get out of your old ways. Get out of what's tradition to you and start something new. Try something different. Um, because, because of all this deception, all this sneaky behavior, all this like, and nah, 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 boo boo. <laughs> like that's, that's what that card reminds me of. And then, um, there will definitely be, there will definitely be some celebration or some something happening that will be worth celebrating, right? Because of this message, because of these changes that needs to take place. Um, please clarify the Page of Swords. 
All right, the strength card. So with this message, it might not be something that you want to hear, but you need to just have strength and know that you are protected, you are guided. Um, it might be something that's a little heartbreaking, but it's something that needs to be said at this point because there's a couple messages here. So you need, there's someone that needs to hear the truth. It's either you or your partner or whoever, if you're a cross watcher, take it how it resonates. But there's a message, there's something that needs to be said and you need to take it and have strength with that. Please clarify the star card. Why is the star card here? The emperor. Okay, the emperor comes in, he builds structure. So there needs to be structure around these messages. There needs to be change, like I said. Please clarify the king of cups. Why is the king of cups here? Okay, okay. All right. So you're tired. You're wounded, you're exhausted, you need some nurturing, or someone needs to be nurtured, someone needs to be loved. And like I said, with the celebration here, there will be some type of celebration. There will, because of these messages, because of these honesty and these truths, there will be some type of healing, some type of healing that would take place. And those those feelings, you're leaving them, you're, you're leaving them. Whatever doesn't benefit you anymore is done for. It's gone. You're done with it, right? Or maybe the the other person. Take it how it resonates. Again, can you clarify the hierophant here, please? The Queen of Pentacles. Feeling like you have to protect yourself. The Queen of Pentacles, she's very, um, she's about her business, right? She she doesn't take any shit, excuse my language, but this is my channel, I'll curse. Um, she doesn't take any shit. She is all about her money. She's focused on that. She knows what she wants and she's out to get it. The Queen of Pentacles is a is a go-getter. And because of that, she knows that she has to protect herself because she has a lot of things going on. Someone is 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 um indulging in some toxic behaviors as well. And this is probably where the message is coming through that you need to make a change. And there's a lot of love being given to you, but you're so stuck and caught up on the cups that's here that no longer resonate with you. They no longer benefit you. So why are you stuck on them? Let them go, right? It's about that time. You want to be in celebration mode. You want to be happy. You don't want to continue to hold on to the negativity, but you definitely need to release um, the addiction, Look, another one. You're not seeing what's in front of you. You're not seeing you're so blinded because you're so stuck to this addiction. You're so stuck. It could be a drug addiction. It could be addiction to fear. It could be an addiction to anxiety. It can be a, any kind of addiction. It doesn't necessarily have to be drug, alcohol, sex. But there is some type of addiction that you need to... There's too many cards. Some type of addiction that you definitely need to release and change. Um, please clarify the Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Like I said, new messages, I mean, a very important message is coming in fast, the Page of Pentacles. There's possibly a, very, a new business endeavor, a new um, something that you should definitely be looking into and the king of wands right he's very passionate he's very he moves fast he moves with structure as well like he knows what has to take place he he's very like demanding um for some reason this turned out to be <laughs> this is not even a it's, it could be still love reading but this this turned out to be something completely different 
things are moving fast. Things are taking place. Things are looking the way that they should be looking. But you will create a blockage if you do not release this, this addiction. You're creating a blockage in your own life. Clarify the Six of Wands, please. of pentacles because of celebration there's you know happiness there's things growing manifesting you know taking place developing becoming better and you just have to stay still allow god to run its run his course allow him to do what it is that he needs to do Be hermit. Go within. Go within and be able to search. Your you need to go within and allow things to run its course. Release your need for control. Work on yourself. Take time for yourself. Pamper yourself. Love yourself in better and healthier ways. Because it seems like the ways that you think that you're loving yourself, it's not very helpful to you, and you're stuck in fear. You're stuck in fear. You're in a poverty feeling mindset right now. But that's not the case. You're stuck because of all this negativity, all this negative energy. You don't want to hear anybody's opinion. You're stuck in your ways. There has to be a change. And the Page of Pentacles is here. I feel like the Page of Pentacles in a way is kind of you, Libra. Because you're so stuck in your ways. But there's an empress who's willing to nurture you, who's willing to help you. So um, let's get an important message from the power deck. God, ancestors, divine, Holy Spirit, what is an important message for Libra? Because this is no longer a love reading. What is an important message for Libra? Message for Libra. Something that Libra needs to hear. What is something that Libra needs to me an important message for Libra for March? What is an important message for Libra? Okay. Any new shovel? Imagination. Exploring the wilderness of your own soul through contemplation brings you to the altar of your imagination. To have a circle of imagination in your being, walk walk with the untamed, wild, instinctual side of your nature, all the time knowing its power. Like a woman aware of her pregnancy as she moves through her round of daily tasks, you need not focus on the unborn life in order for its, its nurture to continue to grow. It's nature to continue to grow, sorry. Always remember that inspiration often comes after reflection, after the seed of creativity is planted. Once you begin your creative work, the energy of the universe comes to you and the imagination flows. So like I said, release the control that you have. Release the need for control. Silence. Before making a decision of power, move into that place of silence and serenity deep within you. Sit anywhere close, close your eyes and follow your breath in and out. On the third inhalation, take the take the deep take the breath down into your belly and locate your place of power, your shaman center, just below your navel. Visualize your place of power holding the golden sun, a disk of radiant brilliance within you. 
Observe this silence like a deer in a misty marshland. If you are in pain, use your consciousness to find where the pain lives within your body, then move into the pain and beyond it until you find the source of silence. In this silence lives the sacred witness that which sees all and knows all and is all that you are. Power is born within the silence. So you need to sit back, shut your mouth. <laughs> That's basically what this is saying. Sit back, shut your mouth, and go within. Release your need and control over the outside world. Go within and let God, divine, spirit guides, ancestors deal and take care of all the worldly things. But you have to go within and take care of thyself. Which divine feminine was beneficial to Libra in March? Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. Oh, man, more timing. Listen, sit back, relax, put your feet up, because God got you. When your soul selects her card, the ego has a timeable has a timetable that the soul couldn't care less about. When we are feeling stressed or threatened in some way, fear, fear can be ex expect, exceptionally loud and can inform the ego to work overtime in trying to get something accomplished or to manipulate something to happen. The natural flow of energy that allow, that all, that's always at work behind the scene, the universe's capacity to assist us and then gets blocked when we are in service of love we are following the di dictated di blah, 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 blah. we are following the dictates of our souls and when the ego is in service of the soul divine timing ensures um esther mastered this art even under extreme duries she listened wisely to her soul. She became a queen by letting her love for her people inform her feminine intuitive powers. This is her imperative this is her imperative trust that everything is aligning in divine timing. Trust your soul voice. Soul voice meditation. What do I intuitively know will happen in divine timing for me? So like I said, please, 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 guys, release your control, release that addiction that you're feeling, go within. The ego is ugh, a bad place to be in because the ego will cause you to block your own blessings. It will cause you to just see what's in front of you. You will never see the bigger picture. And maybe you're addicted to your ego. Maybe you're addicted to stroking your own ego. And that's something that needs to be changed. You are connected spiritually to those you love. You are connected spiritually to those you love. Go within. Ask the ancestors ancestors for some guidance. Help them to ask. Oh, my goodness. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. So I hope this video resonated. Um, this definitely was supposed to be a love reading, but it just didn't turn out that way. I'm sorry if it didn't resonate. If it does, that's even better. Um, but there's definitely a very important message in this reading. There's a very important message coming your way. So be open. Have love in your heart. Walk in love. Don't lay in it. And like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And have a great one.